Hello, future Telnet admins of Total Freedom, or any other Freedom server. I am Link's LPS, a senior admin on TF, a super admin on Future Freedom, and a special executive on Freedom Op. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Telnet. It's actually quite simple. For the sake of this, I'm going to be using two Telnet clients. The f this is the first one. It's the <laughs> it is the it is MadGeek Telnet client. This has an old version as well. So, all you need to do is you find the IP, which you can see here, this is the IP for Total Freedom. The, item, the IP for Total Freedom's Telnet client. For in the case in the case for MadGeek, all you need for MadGeek's Telnet client, this is all you have. You have you have connect button, disconnect button, send button, and a server list button, and yeah. So all you really need to do is you put the IP into the server box here, and then press connect. Connect. And this is the server. It's just a humongous log of stuff for the server. It, it's your log. It's your pretty it's pretty much your portable log viewer and command things. And since Total Freedom is in 1.7.7 spigot, there's errors right now, so it spams Telnet. So here are the the main things which are new is C say. And C say is pretty much how you talk to anything to all the players normally in Telnet. So this is hello, I am doing this for a future for a recording thing. Oh gosh, thing of total freedom. Ignore. And then, yeah, there's there I am, there's my message. The main difference between the server and here is that you can't, you don't use slashes, and if you do use a slash, it will count as a world edit command. So, it's kind of weird. It's, it's actually much, it's actually quite easy. It's very, very easy. For senior telnets, uh, for future senior admins, oh crap, look how spammy telnet is today, holy crap, stop, <laughs> stop spamming, I'm surprised that uh, Mad Geek's telnet client hasn't crashed yet, but like I was trying to say, like I was trying to say, this, oh hello, this, uh, for, s for future senior admins who want to use telnet, you get slash deafen, and I won't use it because it will actually make noise. And a few admins here don't like that. GTFO kill scream don't make big spheres. See, I, I can, I'm doing my normal administrating career on Telnet. Which means you don't need to be in game to actually... You don't need to be in game to actually use this. And I think now the recording is lagging for some for a stupid reason. It's kind of stupid. Uh... I hope you do see the mouse too. I don't think the mouse is shown here. Down it. Well, it'll be on the next Telnet client that I'll show off. And it's actually much easier. It's much. It's even better than this. Uh, sorry, Mad Geek, but my good old friend Gamzy99 gave me this client, and I'll show it to you in just a second. If you want to disconnect from the Telnet client, just press disconnect. Voila. And yeah, I'll... Uh, seamless transition. This is the other Telnet client. It is Cam that I'm going to show off today. This is Camzy's Telnet client. And what's and the main difference between this and both Mad Geeks and XX Wiley's versions of the Bucket Telnet client? I don't have the XX Wiley's Telnet client, so the main difference is is that. You have all these buttons. It's so easy to do this. This part is absolutely pointless now. Except for a few other commands. But again. I'll... Here, you can even learn how to be a super admin just by these two, These buttons. These buttons. Now, this button, the verify, slash verify, slash imposter. These two, uh, commands for CJ Freedom, so it won't work on Total Freedom. 
This will do successfully config add. If you if you've successfully verified somebody. Uh, right. So lots of differences. In addition to the buttons, you can add a player name like blah, and you can do a reason like don't grief, and then you press enter, and then you press this button, and then it will actually work on the server. This will do slash c say, this will do slash o, and this will do slash say, obviously. This will do slash... I'm not quite sure what this does. Hello, I want to test out. Oh. Oh, that does actually config list. And the server just crashed. And the server just stopped. Uh, but I forgot another senior command in the last segment. For a future... To, a future senior command for... And the f command is slash doom, which is this button. And what this does, what this particular button does, is that if there is a rogue admin, or if you're trying to correct an admin, or if you're showing off, well, not, not showing off, but if you want to just test out the command, you can just do that. But usually, slash doom works in the... You have to use slash doom in the case of people bypassing normal bands, which that will no longer, which I'm not quite sure will be the case now because of the switch to UUIDs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <coughs> blah, blah, blah. so here's a U UUID right here. That's UUID. Uh, the thing is, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. Sorry, I, I lost what I was trying to say. But I, like I was trying to say, slash doom. You have to, you can use it only if someone bypasses normal ban, and if they still bypass ban after you do a slash doom, then you're going to have to do a little alert thing in the main admin chat showing alert. We got a ban ban bypasser. We got to do slash orbit. I don't like to use slash orbit. Slash block command slash mute. And for me, I I would probably I would I would probably just uh I would just probably use a cage on them. <laughs> but again, another reason, another way to use slash doom is, like I said, you for an admin who doesn't know anything about, who hasn't learned, who hasn't watched any of my any my super admin tutorial video or Calgo Moose tutorial video, which is outdated. I made an update. I made an update to it a month or two ago, two months ago. And this is my telnet thing. See how? So yeah. Uh, there isn't any videos for how to sell telnet, and uh, like I said, slash doom <laughs> can be also used for admins who are who don't who haven't watched any of the videos or looked at anything. Yeah, anything. And again, this is only for seniors. And you can also, and this also counts for rogue or abusive admins. In which case, action must be done by the seniors. Of ASAP wants to get contacted. Affirmative things of that as of an admin going rogue. So yeah, this is Telnet. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how else to explain it because I uh, this is compared to <laughs> compared to how I do it, did it with super compared to how I did it with the super admin tutorial. I, this is all done in one run, and I haven't actually done like I, this is like my first time try doing this. So there's like all these uh, stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, yeah, this is actually quite short. This is excuse me. Uh yeah. Blah 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 blah. This. Is Telnet. This is how you use Telnet. You can use all this and you can do dot, 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 like that. <laughs> and yes, I'm spamming here more. But uh, another thing is in Camsey's Telnet, you can stop the auto scroll and you can actually look at, ahead of anything from your current log. And a bug with Telnet's client. Uh, not Telnet's client. A bug with Camsey's Telnet client is that sometimes the auto scroll does not re-enable, but other times uh, all this goes away, and that's kind of kind of annoying. But yeah, like I said, 
That is how you use telnet, link, uh, future telnet admins of any freedom server. And I'll see you next time for how to be a senior admin. How to use Clanforge more like. Uh, yeah, that. I'll make a video on that soon. So I'll see you linksers. I'll see you linksers and telnet future telnet admins later.